How's it online gamers and uh, let's get ready to watch an online game. I've decided to go for orcs this time around. Uh, we've already done Space Marines and Eldor this week so it's time for orcs but uh, with a slight little change this is a uh, 2v2 game um, just mixing it up ever so slightly and my ally for this game was he I don't know what that means all right okay but it's two orcs and we are believe it or not up against two space marines now i believe these guys probably knew each other uh going for the same color schemes and all of that or they might have just decided you know what they're going to do things this way this time around all right so um i'm pretty much going to go for the th the the three boy opening and um, i'm i'm fairly sure um it, it's very popular to go for the tactical squad opening nowadays um, especially against orcs, I, I don't know. Well, I mean, you could if if you had the expectation. Okay, there goes a, a fast barracks. All right, so this is probably going to be an assault squad, probably coupled with one tactical squad and a drop pod. Uh, we are they are claiming these points on the outskirts. That's the first tactical squad coming out for the uh, ultramarines, and then of course here we go. So we've got um, these grots. They've now these Gretchen. They've now. Claim this point, uh, immediately building a, a listening post on here and just getting the requisition resource generators. Now, uh, my ally, he's basically claiming the point here at the bottom. And he's got two squads. Okay, so he's got two squads of boys. He's got um, a boys hut. And he's going for a very first war tower. Okay, this might be um, a, a new player. Or a fairly new player so I'm just using one of one squad of boys just to claim this point over here uh, the ultramarines are gonna claim the point down here and as you can see they're both going for the barracks at this point in time so we can expect to see some assault troops pretty soon running servitors in teams that's a very interesting thing all right so I haven't seen any of the um, the ultramarines yet except for the bottom part of the map now they claim this point of course like I said my ally was uh, it was pretty uh, conservative as to how we played. He's got the three boy squads, but they're all stuck all over the map. And of course, air, all the buildings are here inside his actual base. If this is a new player, hopefully I can show him how it's done with the orcs, if that's at all possible. All right, so we've got a uh, power point, requisition point coming up over there. Um, okay, this point's gone up, listening post going up over there. We've claimed this point, just don't have money for the upgrades yet. All right, so the boys are charging in, trying to see if we can maybe pick something off here. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's a requisition generator and we are just gonna try and kick that thing's butt as soon as we possibly can and we've got a uh, squad coming out here first running away to see what it is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay there comes a drop pod with some tactical marines this of course is not a deterrent for us at this point in time um, they do have the shield which makes them a little bit tougher to deal with but that's okay and then we've got a scout squad coming out now these guys have charged up a little bit but we've got both uh, chapter banners coming out from both ultramarines uh, it's a little bit wasteful but I mean I, I think that was probably just you know try and do um, get as much shield coverage as they possibly can uh, the scouts had a pretty good blinding grenade I gotta say and then the uh, tactical squad did a frag grenade in here uh, the orcs are still going strong here these tactical marines they ran into the orc boys over there um, it slows down their retreat back to base these orc uh, boys are coming back up they're gonna start running after the scout squads and of course they they should catch up and uh, just do a little bit of damage here comes even more ultramarines uh, tactical squads so we've got two more tactical squads over there here another one is starting to build so that's not too bad but we've got double scout squads over here one of them should still have a grenade there we go okay that's the second blind grenade going on not hitting the most orcs but doing a decent job nonetheless uh, again charging in with more orcs just trying to cause as much mayhem as we can um, I felt like we we had a bit of an advantage for a, a, a small while uh, charging up these squads one by one just so we can make sure we we really f uh, utilize that benefit and the charge bonus and the stun that comes with it uh, some assault troops have not come out I saw the assault troops pop out so I just ran away a little bit over there hoping that they would um, just with their jump which they do in that case we can now charge back we still have the charge on these guys but the shields have now broken so unfortunately at this point in time we need to run away now we forced a lot of um, well, it's a lot of scouts, a lot of tactical squads. The uh, kill team has come out um, for one of them. I'm not entirely sure which one because they have the same thing. But we do have the Storm Boys. That's also pretty much come out for us. And this buys a lot of time for my ally to just go and reclaim some of these points. Now, of course, they are going to try and push in. The scout squad, scout squad, tactical squad. They are moving back. 
Uh, these guys are pushing in. I think it's a double tactical squad, uh, an assault squad, and the kill team. The kill team does not do too well against the Orc Storm Boys, though. We get a nice start off over there, and we get a nice jump in. That's pretty good for us. These assault troops get a massive jump in over there, and they do get a, a drop pod with the other kill team coming in. Uh, and we are just all going to charge back, and we're going to try and surround these guys, try and uh, get rid of their flamer. As long as they're in uh, melee combat, they cannot use their flamer, and that that's, that's a big deal for us. So they do stun up some of our boys, not uh, too many pulling boys out as they take too much damage, especially the shooter boys. They need to be shooting, they don't need to be slugging, and yeah, all right, so here we go. So we've got one of the kill teams. I think we are actually going to be able to drop this one. There we go. So we do manage to kill one of the kill teams. The other kill team has taken not too much damage, but they do still have two tactical squads they have assault marines over here uh and then two scout squads and a tactical squad so that's not too bad we got an okay start uh, my ally at this point in time is working on his second war tower again still in base and he's got his uh dakahata i i don't think he's got a lot of dudes though let me just see wait no wait i think it's the other way around yeah so he's got one uh boy squad and two shooter boy squads that's that's okay um you know, it's it's if you're a new player, don't get deterred if if you're not keeping up with the pace of the game. This game can be really uh, fast paced sometimes, or certain segments of the game can be incredibly like the start of the game is always incredibly fast paced, and you really need to just just keep track of everything you're doing. So I wanted to bring some Gretchen up here. I did notice that there was some scouts, um, so I wanted to bring the Gretchen up over here just so we could spot out the scouts in case they did come. But at the same time, we need to start dropping war towers. We've been very aggressive up until now but we haven't dropped any war towers this is a lot of scout scouts this is like one two three four five scout squads a scout sniper squad a kill team there's a lot of stuff over here and i believe that they are going to try and push in okay that's like seven scout squads they're going to try and push in over here um to take this relic point and these snipers are already opening fire uh yeah i guess they're coming to oh wow that blind grenade whiffs that's so such an unfortunate whiff right there um they they literally just jumped out of it as it hit the ground so that's quite unfortunate for them here uh okay so they do a massive amount of damage over here to my uh ally but we use this opportunity to pretty much just charge in there and try and hit their shield generator um at this point okay so the truck is out it's got nobody in it uh it does have a big shooter on though so it does uh it does, doesn't do a lot of damage it does like 13 dps but it tries. It really does try, guys. So, um, okay, yes, so my ally doesn't have too much at this point in time, but we do manage to actually blow up one of the shield generators. That's really good for us. That means uh, I have the resources now to drop my own Daka hut. And of course, I've got one, two, three, I'm working on five, and s working on five shooter boy squads, two regular boy squads. Uh, okay, they're pushing back in here again. These guys now picked them up. They did see them. Um, but if they do claim this point, they this is going to be a breeze to get rid of really it's not going to be the biggest the biggest challenge in the world now we've got some scouts moving up here we've got the kill team coming out this way again uh we are also planning on moving out uh, on on this direction we are going to use the wall i don't always use wall when i attack i feel like it does give away your position and um people kind of have enough time to prepare for your arrival if you do this well, we are shouting our boys up. We are doing all while everything procs at the same time. Uh, these shooter boys are actually creating a massively nice distract. Oh, that's not a bad... Wow, okay, that's not a bad shot. Not the greatest shot, but really not a bad shot. Here we go, guys. We've got the speed buff. We are pushing in. We've got a lot of shooter boys over here. That kill team needs to be taken care of really, really quickly. Uh, we are jumping in there. Uh, and yeah, we are just staying on top of them over here. We do have a drop pod coming in with another kill team. And they do have a flamer, so they do a lot of damage. But look at how quickly they die. That is incredible. These shooter boys just out DPSing them so freaking hard right now. Um, and there we go. Alright, so we've pretty much just knocked back most of what they have. Uh, these guys have not come back to reinforce. Of course, the listening post is going to go down pretty soon. Uh, we are taking a lot of damage. Uh, we're eating a, quite a bit of stun grenades. Uh, that does a lot of damage. But at this point in time, I thought, you know what? They only have scouts. So, boom, there goes a massive, massive stun from the uh, uh, storm boys. And that was what we were hoping for. Because scouts do not survive that shot. Uh, so you do maximum damage. You kill maximum amount of squad members per shot with that shot. Uh, Gorgats has come in, so he's already been summoned in. We are going to just jump on top of these guys with these Storm Boys again. Gorgats now arriving, and with Gorgats here, we have a lot of tanking power. 
So as long as Gorgats can stay in front and take majority of the shots, we can stay in this fight now for very long. He is extremely tanky. Now the Storm Boys need to start thinking about running away um, pretty damn soon. But this has been such an amazing push for us, guys. So we've managed to drop one barracks down there. We've managed to kill half an army. Uh, we've killed another barracks. We are going to get an armory uh, from this. Ob obviously, that's definitely going to happen. And at this point in time, it's so worth um, the push that we have been doing that it it's fine. We can, we can keep on pushing regardless of uh, how many units we lose right now. There's just not too much they can do. Oh, that's a really big, a very nice jump in from these guys, but they're just going to eat too much damage. The orcs are just pushing in. They will not be deterred. Gorgod's coming in here. Um, he does have his Q ability if he can land it, but no, they do run into the tower's range, and Gorgod's does not want to be there. So, yeah, we pretty much just want to get rid of this building over there. Now, my ally is bringing his Storm Boy squad in, and he's got two Shooter Boy squads up there, so they, they do provide a little bit of support. Uh, over here, yeah, okay, so the stick bombs do go off over there. I do have a squad of loot that's not coming in and the looters will just take care of these scouts so easily and effortlessly and you can see there the amount of damage they're going to take from these looters is just insane so we are attacking the building there's another looter squad that's come in now and yeah this is just going to kill them off too fast they really can't do too much about it there's storm drop pod this is a very good answer to the current problem uh none of the units i have is actually good against the death storm drop pod but at this point in time, I really did not want to give up on the push. The push was totally worth it. And I was, uh, I, I got my first truck out. I didn't really have anything to put inside it. And I'm dropping my Apollo gun so I can start with that re uh, truck reinforcement ability, which would have helped if I um, thought about it a little bit earlier. But here we go, guys. So we've got a little bit of uh, guys left. Some guys are left. Uh, I see my ally is now moving in. And we are attacking the shield generator again. So, yeah, we got a very aggressive start off in this game. And it's actually been going pretty well for us. You can see here, yeah, these poor little civitals, they are fighting for whatever they're with, but no, they're not going to make it. They are just, unfortunately, not going to make it. And that just leaves the shield generator very exposed um, at this point in time. And sure, so the here comes the uh, Storm Boys. They've now healed up. They can also rejoin the battle. We do have a truck from my ally uh, moving out to this point. So at this point in time, let's just have a quick look as we blow up these uh, the shield generator. So my ally for now, yeah, he's got the two shooter boys, and then he's got two looters, and wow, okay, he's got a truckload of trucks, guys. Um, <laughs> not entirely sure what those trucks are going to do, but he's got a truckload of trucks. These guys could have been attacking, uh, just doing a little bit of extra damage, getting this thing dropped quicker, but it doesn't really matter too much. There we go, guys, so we've got both shield generators down. Uh, we've been able to be really, uh, really aggressive in this game up until this point, and that's very good for us. Um, I do like being aggressive. We're going to get the plus one, um, the plus one, uh, infantry damage then we're going to get the reinforcer trucks and then we're going to get the infantry health and i'm just dropping war towers all over the place right now i'm trying to get my tech up as fast as i can Ooh, okay there we go so he's got his uh mega knobs out now and that's pretty pretty good so i dropped the storm boys plus that that's six in total and then of course he's dropped his uh storm boys and now he's dropped his mega knob so yeah with them in the game if he loads them into the truck they're very effective they're quite slow they well not quite they're incredibly slow but if you load them into a truck they can be pretty damn good um so at this point in time i think the best thing we can possibly do is to just uh box them in right now make sure that uh, they can't really push out too far and to do this i'm actually building a uh, a boys hut up here also just leaving the truck here uh, my ally does push in into the turret i don't necessarily know about this perhaps if i noticed this a little bit earlier we could have done a little bit of no it doesn't really look like today they, they, yeah they're holding them up too easily and uh, that turret hasn't even started to take damage so i didn't want to just charge in there um i realized a little bit late he was in there and then by the time i realized i would much rather just come and stand over here get the hard cover uh, you know, and just do some damage from a fairly safe distance rather than get my guys killed. But these Mega Knobs, if they do make it out, they can at least benefit from the boys that that's up here. They could also come and stand right next to my truck. Uh, these guys are going to jump in. That's uh, I, I get it, but it's not going to help them at all. They just die instantly. There's a Dreadnought pushing up here. Now, we don't have any ta tank busters out right now, so we are going to have to start looking at tank busters considering there is a Dreadnought out. But for time being, uh, even though we don't have armor-piercing damage, uh, 
just the, the, the raw amount of damage we do have will be enough to deter this Dreadnought and just push it away. Okay, so they're still defending right on their turret. And this is sometimes where the power core games can get a little bit annoying, perhaps. It's like now you got to wait until you have an army that's strong enough to, to get in there. At this point in time, I could push in with all these guys. And between this and these armies... Uh, and the damage that the tower does, they could easily push us back. Um, they could push us back, and we can't really, really punch our way in over there. So we're on four elite points, so I'm either waiting for... Wow, look at this. That's incredible. This is, uh, wow, my ally has like four trucks and two looters. Okay. So, right, that's that's okay. It's not the end of the world. We are going to try and push as hard as we can. We're just staying within the hard cover right now. Um, they need to start doing damage to this hard cover over time. At some point in time. Okay, and our first uh, looter tank with the super cannon or big track with super cannon. I always want to call him a looter tank. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so our truck with the super cannon is out. He's going to come and stand over here. I will switch him over to long range bombardment uh, once I get close. And then I'm going to try and loot. So if I find an opportunity to drop the mines, I will. Um, but I think I kind of like looted because I wanted to do it. And then I forgot about it for like a second. We are, however, just swapping over to its long-range attack so that if if anyone is going to push into us anytime soon, we're going to get there. Now, I've split off the Storm Boys from my actual main army. Just trying to see if there's any way we can um, disadvantage them even more. Uh, this kill team actually doing the same thing. We had kind of like the same idea at the same time. So just jumping over the ridge, uh, just getting in there. I could have run around. If I did, it would maybe have been beneficial to me. I would have run straight into these guys. Uh, but they're going to be there for now. And then, yeah, so I'm just wowing up in case I can get any units uh, uh, close. I don't think I have anything here. And, oh well, there we go. Alright, so sometimes when you when you start doing the wall on these towers, uh, it does deter people from pushing in because they want to waste the, waste the army that's going to start charging at them. He does manage to get that, um, well, Gorgas is on the field and whenever a wall happens, you gain life. So that actually helped that tower stay alive. And here we go. So uh, the Storm Boys are just uh, jumping right on top of these guys. And I'm just switching over to a Killer Can as well. They're quite expensive to uh, build. I don't know what the plan with these trucks were. But yeah, we are taking shots from these Terminators up here. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we, we've, we've got vision over there for a little bit. And the, this tank is, is probably... Yeah, there we go. He is bombarding them quite hard. Uh, but the tank busters need to start popping out now. Um, here we go. So at this point in time, I actually wanted to see whether or not we could push in. I didn't want to uh, prolong the, the game unnecessarily long. So here we go, we are pushing in, but you can see here, just one or two shots from this turret, man, and we took so much freaking damage. It's a lot of damage that this thing can do. Oh, wow, first wolf been coming out, that's probably going to bombard here as well. Yeah, that would just kill us. That's going to kill us. That's actually going to end up killing Gorguts. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. So we need to now fall back. Um, and that's why I don't like pushing into turrets uh, too soon. Like, it, I don't know, you, you kind of just reach a point where you know, okay, I've got enough tank busters to do this. Uh, just jumping in there again, just making sure that if they do build something, we are going to deal with it. I should have come off to this point as well. I'm, I'm not entirely sure why I didn't. So here they are pressing back into us again. I am going to drop the rocks up here. Um, I wanted to use the suicide uh, bombers to just pick it up and jump in at the very second. And then I realized they were just over here. Um, so I kind of had to just leave it there just to deter these guys from coming in too uh, well, let's see. Let's, oh, okay. Yeah, that gets a dreadnought killed here. These heavy bolters are still shooting at us. Uh, they're shooting at a killer can, so that's not too bad. This Deathstorm drop pot is going to do a lot of damage. These rocks are just going to play out now. Unfortunately, that's kind of a little bit of a waste. Um, I could have been at six right now. I don't think this did too much damage, but these guys have taken a lot of damage. So, yeah, we have actually pushed them back again quite successfully. And uh, it's mostly because of the killer cans and the tank busters. But now we need to start... Oh, there we go. So I was I just remembered about the, the whirlwind and I wanted to run back towards this building. Uh, but I kind of... The, the route I picked took me right through there. Now these assault terminators, they can push in, but you can see their tank busters do significant amounts of damage. Against them. Tank busters are pretty good at dealing with terminators. Uh, it's not like a super cost effective thing to do, but they are pretty good at it nonetheless. Alright, so we are, again guys, we're just rebuilding right now. Uh, we lost a lot of stuff when we pushed into the first tower. I don't want to make the same mistake again, and I'm leaving the Storm Boys here just in case they uh, wanted to send anybody out to come and do something, then I would at least know about it. And yeah, we at this point in time, we're just, we're just building up. We're just building up. There's like some 
There's some upgrades still going down, I believe. Oh yeah, these upgrades still need to go down. Uh, I started building another killer can uh, at this point in time. So you can see here, um, he doesn't really have the scouts to see where he wants to bombard. So he's just picking his maximum range and bombarding there, which is fine because he knows the building is here and we should theoretically be standing around it. But because this building is here, well done, ally, uh, we can uh, actually take that risk and not do it. So the kill team over here, they are pushing it. Uh, my ally is, oh, okay, cool. He's starting to go for knobs. That's always a good decision to go for knobs. They are very strong units here. These storm boys also now realize that the kill team is on their way yet again. And uh, yeah, so there we go. So I'm just sending out a squeak bomb, just checking if there's anything over there. Uh, nothing much has happened. I did see that the trucks were coming in. You can see here between all the war towers and the trucks, these guys are going to take some damage. Uh, the storm boys did jump over the ledge. There we go. And they come back. <laughs> Alright, so I wanted them to jump from here to there. And I actually ended up running right into the turret range and then jumping away. So the kill team does survive, unfortunately. We've got another. We've got two whirlwinds now uh, that can do their bombardments. And uh, this is to be expected, guys. Both of our... Let me see. Oh, okay, yeah, now they're hitting there. Both of our um, opponents, they have gone for uh, Solaria as their, um, their uh, super elite or their titan or whatever you wish to call it and uh let me just see here um <laughs> yeah it doesn't really okay yeah so they decided to go for that as their titan we're just looting up everybody right now everybody that can loot something is looting something and i did see these assault terminators were hitting the trucks in the face and i wanted to see whether or not i couldn't save the trucks so we've got some missiles going off from the uh, killer cans. They're going to do uh, quite a bit of damage to these assault terminators. Uh, but the combination of these guys, we do get a nice stun in there uh, on the on the lower ground. And the storm boys are going to run in there. They would obviously die to this, but it's not the biggest threat right now. Another day storm drop coming out. But this time around, we do have sufficient amounts of uh, tank buses to deal with it. The uh, storm boys are going to get out of there. They would die if they remain. And you can see they... Oh man, we're doing a lot of damage here, but he is going to make it... Yes, he does make it out. Okay. So that's good for them. They do end up making it out here. Unfortunately, the other Ultramarine has built a lot of last cannons in response to the killer cans and stuff that I have. So, yeah, he is pushing back. But here, this was a big mistake. Uh, the Ultramarine is pushing right into me. And Gorguts is able to catch them off guard from a very, very obscure angle. Um, and that's it, guys. You can see the, with the brute firepower we have from our... Uh, killer cans and our tank busters we have some looters some shooters and our uh, big track there's really not much uh, gonna survive that kind of firepower and because we have gorgots this is pretty much the time guys so we're just gonna use him to tank up the turret shots as much as we can and you can see over there we are just doing significant amounts of damage so yes the start is gonna hurt us yes we are gonna eat some whirlwind shots over here that's that's the inevitable i cannot stop that from happening uh, so that actually thins us out by an incredible amount and uh, Gorguts again is going to end up falling and unfortunately for us guys that's the second turret attempt that we failed these guys I don't know exactly where they're going as long as the turret doesn't shoot them that's fine okay there we go so that's our second attempt at the turret that did fail uh, my ally at this point in time he's got a boy squad somewhere yep and then here um, he does oh no wait that's mine okay I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it skew right now he does have two knobs on the way three knobs on the way some boys and some looters so yeah he's gonna get an army back at some point uh, as you can see the space marines are having a very hard time this guy has a massive army the other guy does not unfortunately for him uh, but the orcs here the death skulls they are really building up right now and requisition is very very low Oh, so we are struggling to uh, reinforce our squads back up. Uh, so we are also starting to just um, utilize our uh, our scrap that's lying all over the place in the fairly big parts now to just get some more killer cans out there. And we are going to do the best we can pretty damn soon. So here, uh, the wall bins have bombarded just to make sure that there was nothing there. So the uh, Space Marines are moving in. We've got one, two, three whirlwinds right now. That's actually... A lot of bombardment damage if if that catches you off guard that is a lot of bombardment damage so I've got uh, one death rate out right now but I've got quite a lot I've got uh, one two three four uh, 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 killer cans I've got a lot of tank busters up so yeah I mean we, we do have a lot of units that we can use I'm actually just uh, looting everything I can I want to end this game before they get to their Titans uh, because then I know it's, it's just gonna swing back into their favor um, but I am literally seconds away from getting my ninth elite point we have been controlling uh 
the elite points on this map. Unfortunately, this one has not been rebuilt. Uh, here we're gonna go, guys. So I'm gonna war there, and I'm gonna war there. So I don't want them to know without whether I'm coming this way or that way. But he does unfortunately have the scouts to spot out my path. And here you can see we are gonna end up getting beauty. So uh, the Gorkonaut, my apologies. So the Gorkonaut also does come in. And uh, yeah, so this war is gonna go off. They're pretty much gonna go off at roughly the same time. That one goes off first, this one goes off second. And uh, at this point in time, it was really just trying to to um, just war at both sides. Try and see if we can get them to, uh, I think these are gonna work. Let me see. Oh no, that was fantastically aimed. Wow, that was pretty well done. Uh, but the orcs, of course, they do have a bit of a defensive bonus, and they are much faster than they normally are. So they are going to be able to just push right through there. Uh, this thing actually survives. <laughs> That's so funny. The, the death copter survives. And over here, guys, so we've got the Gorkonaut. We have the massive fist that's going to fly in there. This is the all the guns to bear. Uh, I thought there was going to be more guns left, but no, they actually died off really quickly. Um, the death rate is tanking the turret shots, which is fantastic for me. He, he, that's what he should be doing, is tanking the turret shots. That does blow up the turret, so we've got nothing left to do except get in there and destroy the power core, if at all possible. And here we go. So the Dreadnought does a massive amount of damage over there, but with uh, the Gorkonaut out here, we can reinforce on the fire again. More more whirlwind shots coming in guys this is doing a lot of damage to our army but unfortunately for them it's not going to be enough and it's at that this point in time that our allies uh our allies <laughs> our enemies decided to um surrender i think it was pretty much in the bag right there um you know so i don't blame them for surrendering but yeah i think that was actually a pretty pretty good game um i remember seeing the score screen at the end so uh my ally was definitely a new player um he has to be and i think he's still finding finding his way in this game so i'm 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 thankful that that we were able to pull a win out on that one um because you know a, a lot of times when you go into a 3v3 game and you've got two experienced players and even just one out of the three you know is a new player it can end up getting you losses um even more so in 2v2 games because you know each player sh uh, is like 50 percent responsible for for what happens in the game so it, it's it's a tough one to do but i'm happy that that we were able to pull that one off the orcs came through for us in a in a in a commanding fashion and that was pretty damn cool guys so that's gonna be it for this game thank you very much for watching um again guys if you like the content on my channel you can subscribe to my channel and uh you'll get notifications whenever new videos go up um of uh, also remember that if you do have any replays um, of yourself or, or you know, if, if you're doing 3v3s and you manage to pull off a cool move or something like that or you have a replay that you think is a fairly high level replay, uh, send it to me and you can send it to my email address which is psychz at gmail.com, one word. And uh, yeah, I will gladly cast your replays as well. Then we can make it a community thing. Alright guys, well thank you very much for watching. I'm going to see you guys for the next recording but until then, bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.